Right everyone, welcome back to Northwick and welcome back to Project Cowpen. So uh, see we've got a load of carving pens along that back wall. There used to be three here as well against this wall. And then all our in-carved cows are on the other side of the wall. John's just firing up a generator because we're going to sink some more posts to make this into one big maternity pen. We've got the Kango there. Runs off the generator. This post needs a hole going in here somewhere. So need to clean it all up. I'm winning. I haven't got my glasses on so I can't really see much. But I can see that I've made a hole. I've gone through the top layer of concrete now, so about four inches of concrete there I've gone through. I've got down to like the uh, sub base and the earth. So we'll scoop that out. We'll square up this hole a bit better. And that'll be ready for the slot post bottom to go into. Making progress. Now I've got one rather deep hole. John's gone to cut a bit off the slot post because the post that we're going to use, that one there, is a bit shorter than a normal post. So we don't want to bury it too far into the ground. So that hole should be good enough. Craig's been and got a load of fixtures and fittings for putting hangings on that wall, for example, for that barrier. We're going to feed all the cows at this end. And then this is going to be one giant maternity pen. Uh, we can come in the back there to clean out or bed up or whatever we want to do. And then we've got all these hurdles along the side where John's already sunk these posts that you can open and close um, if you want to get cattle in and out from the carving pens. Craig did make a good point. It would be handy in here to have um, a head locking yoke like we've got in all the carving pens just in case you need to catch an animal for any reason. Um, but I guess if we, if we can't fit one in somewhere we can always just run them into a carving pen um, to catch them if we need to. But yeah, that's currently what the plan is here. Obviously gonna to have to cover up these old grids. I don't really know what they're for because there's no slurry store here or anything. So I don't know where they drain away to. Here are the cows. So it's fairly straightforward. When cows carve um, either in here or if we see them starting carving, put them in a carving pen. We then, once, the, once we know the calf is sucking uh, quite happily, put them in a big maternity pen once the maternity pen's full or we've got I think it's six cows and calves we can take them down to the other shed and put them in a pen because um, that's what we have in each pen down there and then we can bring in calf cows up from there at the start of carving and fill the gaps as they come out of this shed by the end of carving we end up with cows and calves in here cows and calves down in the beef shed cows and calves everywhere um, and then hopefully by the end of carving we're starting to turn stuff out as well so it's all a bit of a work in progress at the minute but uh, it should be good once we're done. Right, it is a new day. Uh, I've spent the morning away at a spraying training course. I bet you can't guess who it was hosted by. Uh, anyway, come back this afternoon. I'm uh, gonna help John again with his new pen plan. So, got a gate here, it's got a fit of gap. We need to shorten it very slightly. So, we cut the end off with a grinder. And then John's made a mark on it somewhere, is it there? Uh, you need to cut all the way up there, so we'll mark it over with some tape. We'll cut the end off first, cut the tubes, and then uh, weld it back on, I suppose. Right, let's do cutting.
quite as thick as I thought. <laughs> the well, not. Oh. Right, new gate up in the shed. That's going to be tight. So hopefully I haven't cut this too short. <coughs> no, it's just the run of the ground. It's yes. It's all right, but it's... Uh, I do need to do it. This is going to be like a paradise to see. There's only four of them, isn't there? Or five? Yeah, it's not ten, is it? No. Oh, yes. Yeah. What happened to X marks a spot? Uh, Just there, was it? I feel like we all do. Generator. One set, fish into one. I think it's that. Postal go in that. That's concreted in place. Bowman's doing the mixing. It's a funny looking concrete mixer. I think you've been missold. Five times dry, three times wet. What does that mean? Mix it five times dry. Oh, I see. And I put water in the mixer three, three times. Three times ah. No. That's the last hole then, and then we'll have a gate going across there to those panels. Little gate here that you can get in, little personnel one, one of these. And then are we ready? And then I think John said the sheep are coming in here. Pedigree ones that are going to land soon because you can see the camera up there. Yeah, you can keep a better eye on them. It's coming. I'm not saying my posts I put in are perfectly upright, but you can see that one over there. Yes. You can see from here it's not straight. <laughs> 
He was slightly twisted, I just twisted him. Alright. Are we going to put our initials? Quite like a heart. And, and a date. <laughs> You can do, because this is the last one. Right, I am back up in the shed. We concreted that post in last night. Um, John's got a little service gate hung there. Oh, look. Looks to work, look at that. Oh. Well, there's some hangings on. Got a big barrier there, with a pin down through against the wall. So that's quite cool. Over here, he's got a hanging one for that gate. Hangings on the wall for this gate. He's been a busy man today, Mr. Bowman. Got a hole there for the post. Hopefully that won't upset the cows too much. Here comes the man with the post. I knew that bloody thing would be in the way. Oh, that little notch? Yeah. There's a grinder there. Put it off. There is. Where's the big one? He's up here somewhere. Oh, he's, he, he's pushing on that. Yeah, he's up it? against that. I'm going to just leave it for leave a minute because it. it'll all shit itself otherwise. But yeah, other than that. Yeah, you're nearly there. Yeah, a bit of water. Might be a bit of a. Do you want to put water down here? I don't know, could you be in the way of the door, I suppose? I don't yeah. really know, because I'm not going to open these. No, these will stay shut. This, these will, be, stay shut, yeah. this will be feeding, won't it? Bolt one of those on to the there, so they can eat out or drink out through there. Yeah. But whether I want to clean the fronts out every now and again. I see. Um. Tell you it's all in here, you don't know, I suppose. Might as well do it properly, John. Do it properly, Sam. Come this far doing it properly. Yeah. These so are alright, aren't they? Imagine it's paying me to do. Yeah. Works alright. Yeah. That drill's something else, isn't it? It's you had one up there as well, didn't you? Do you know that's what? I, I, no. You wouldn't know. No. Only I know what that hole's for. Peeping. <laughs> See who's calving. When I changed, I, I re hung these gates because they were hung the other way. It opened oh, right. here, which I thought was bubble use if you wanted to get a calf out. Oh, you haven't done this today, this is previous. No, no, yeah, yeah, this sorry, yeah. Oh, two years ago, I suspect. So I rehung on this end, but by doing so, it's pulled that steel post over because that join there should be on there. Ah, so yeah, what I'm going to do, put a bar through there with a plate up to here, yeah. push it in with a handler. Weld it, and then he'll be. He, he whips a bit as well, because mm. he's bloody great gait on a relatively yeah. small post. Yes, and then he should be all right. We'll do the same the other end as well. Yeah, it should be right. Yeah. Work out how many we can get in it. Be all right for six pedigree sheep, mate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Keep them happy. Probably enough space. Yes. Right, we are back again at the maternity pen that John has been building. Um, it's pretty well finished now. I think it is finished. Um, so we just need to have a really good tidy up, get rid of all the hardcore that's around, all the tools, put them away, get rid of that halfway crate, put that somewhere. And then we got um, some Charolais, pedigree Charolais sheep that lamb sort of Christmas time a bit early. Um, that are going to come in here so we can keep an eye on them with the camera. So uh, we'll get ourselves sorted out here and uh, start picking up some rubble. This, we have a completed pen. Got all these doors all the way along. We're running cattle in and out of the various carving pens uh, when we want them, when they've carved and they're sucking. They come into this pen. John's coming up this way with some straw, hopefully.
Right, we'll get done rolling some straw. Shine Sky. And LC. Oh, and LC, yeah. Well, if you try to stay still there yeah. and try to stop them as they come out at lightning speed. I will do. Two hours later. Hey, here we go. Right. Like that. Like that. Good. Look at that sheet. Splendid. Only four and a half minutes. Yeah, sure. Are you sure we're not overstocked? <laughs> we think we might have to um, dig out the ASPA regulation. Yeah, consult the book on this one, I think. <laughs> We've got a VIP guest to open the uh, John Bowman permanent erection. John Bowman himself. Yeah. Uh, it's a memorial occasion. We haven't got a ribbon, we can't afford that, so we've got a bit of string. We can't afford scissors. No, so we've got a knife. Do, do the honours, John. I now proclaim <laughs> this cow carving pen that has got uh. sheep in it open. <laughs> Do we just shake hands now? I don't think we're allowed. Do we do like an awkward handshake? <laughs> you know, like... It's <laughs> <laughs> left-handed, isn't it? <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah, cow pen with sheep. Very good. It breaks my heart. I just, it doesn't work for sheep. It's upsetting. Rex will be happy though. Well, that's true. Sexy Rexy. <laughs> right. That alone is good enough, isn't it? Yep. Have a, <laughs> give your leg hat to people. <laughs> Uh, this this gobby one's not happy. And there you have it. That is this pen complete. See, there will be cows in it one day. Soon. For now, it's sheep. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. Bit of fun as well, isn't it? If, uh, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to follow me on any more of my socials, they'll be on the bottom of the screen now. They're also in the description. But uh, for now, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.